All right, hi everybody. So in this video, we're going to do a little bit of coordinate geometry. You want to find the equation of the line uh, that has a y-intercept of 6 and parallel to the line 2x plus 3y plus 4 equals 0. Now normally, when I ask this question to my students, I am expecting the answer in either slope-intercept form, or sorry, point-slope form, or slope-intercept form. Uh, my preference typically is point-slope form. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build it the equation in that form and then convert it to slope-intercept form here. Now, it's got a y-intercept of 6, which means I know that it passes through the point um, 0, 6. But over here in, in my um, slope-intercept form, I mean, I already know right off the bat here that that b value is going to be 6 because that's what the y-intercept is. Parallel 2, <coughs> remember, parallel 2 means same slope. So what I need to do is figure out what the slope is of this 2x plus 3y plus 4. And to do that, what I want to do here is convert this into slope-intercept form by isolating the y. So I'm going to bring the 2x and the 4 over. So 3y is equal to negative 2x minus 4. And then I'm going to divide by 3. And I can see, therefore, that my slope is going to be negative 2 thirds. And so there we go. Now I have all the information I need. So to put my equation into point slope form, I would get y minus 6 is equal to negative 2 thirds x minus 0. And I'm going to talk about that in just a second here. Or I could go right into my slope intercept form. y is equal to negative 2 thirds x plus 6. Now, when I look at my equation in my point slope form, that x minus 0 looks a little goofy, quite honestly. So I might just write it like this. But if I'm going to write it like this, it, if you compare that to the slope-intercept form, it's, it's so close. Just, just do it. Just take that last step and bring it over. So really, for a question like this, the really the answer is best given in slope-intercept form. And again, the reason why I, I say that here, because I'm, I'm going to favor these two up, up here, these two versions here. But if I give you the y-intercept, if you're given that information here, it really does force that uh, point slope form to, to look more like slope-intercept form uh, right off the bat there. 